Hey people, this is take number two. Yes, take number two. The first one, I did not have my mic plugged in all the way, so I will be doing this again, which is fine. That means I can do it that much faster. I just took off my eyeball. Um, this is gonna be a minty green eye. I'm in love with this color from Makeup Academy. It is eye dust um, from Makeup Academy. It is shade number three. I'll show you that in a minute. Let me put on my primer. I still have on some of my mascara, but that's okay. It'll be fine. And my primer is Hard Candy. It's clear, which I think is awesome. I was gonna go with it. And I like that. Then I'm going to take CoverGirl Smoky Shadow Blast. This is green. I do not know what in the world the color is. We'll call it lime. Um, I'm going to put that on just to give it a little bit of pizzazz. I'm going to use a concealer brush. And paint it on my eye right there where I'm going to put that green so it picks up that color just a little bit more for me. Go underneath. The apex of that eyeball right there on the top of it. I'm going to use Love Me 365 Velvet Eyeshadow. Looks like this. Now they call this color Aqua. There's nothing Aqua about that color, people. It is as mint as you can get. And no, y'all don't have to go all these steps. I just, I have this stuff, so I felt like using it all. Because I can. That's why. Man, I was talking up a storm on that last video didn't get a bit of it but oh well see that's what it looks like it's mint so I'm just painting it on right there on that apex of the eye make sure you blend everything out really well now um, I am gonna be showing y'all this is such a beautiful color watch it on my finger it is so pretty I don't know if y'all can see all the little dazzly colors it's got a, like a lot of glitter and shimmer but it comes in like a little duster thing so I'm gonna take it out and put a little bit if you have a dazzle dust from oh lord who makes dazzle dust Barry M thank you from Barry M or any mint colored eyeshadow. Y'all know with me, y'all ain't gonna have the exact thing I do. But thank you, Stacy. I do love this color. Now I'm packing it in that brush and packing it on my eye so I get the least amount of fallout. Is pack it. I'm gonna switch brushes. Get me a little bit smaller brush. And then just make sure you're keeping it in perspective of that other eye. You want both eyes to match. Okay. Then I'm going to take a liner brush, put it dead on the tip of that brush, and line I'm going to be using Estee Lauder's Light and Dark Cappuccino. I'm going to be using a little bit more dark, darker color than the lighter color, but I'm going to mix them on this little brush right here, a little detailing brush. We are going to do it in a cut crease, but it's not going to be like a sharp cut crease. I'm 
Okay. Make sure some of that green is peeking out over. And you don't have to go all the way in. I'm just doing the outer edge. And then do one third of the way under. My friend Solon Wright 182, Miss Megan, hey girl, um, she sent me city colors. It's just one of those random things you find in a store like this, very plain. But the colors are not plain, they are so awesome. One of them reminds me of Nylon from MAC. That one right there reminds me of Nylon from MAC. Oh crap, Love love you bye. Excuse me, y'all. I had a phone call. Anywho, what I was saying. Where did I put it? Um, city colors. Uh, this color right here reminds me of nylon from MAC, which I know Megan did not pay that much for this palette. So that's a good deal right there. And then this other one, I call it Sprite because it kind of has a reflex in it, like green. Like a green... I went on and put some on while I was talking to my mother. But just put it in this inner part right here. Put it on this outer part. Kind of blend. You just want this brown blended. And you can go as deep as you want with this brown. You can make it a deep cocoa brown. Or you can make it a dark chocolate. Or you can make it a light brown. Whatever floats your boat or cocks your pistol. And then, on the foundation, people, what am I doing? I'm getting ahead of myself. And Stacy, thank you so much. I am loving this. This came from England, people. Um, so, I am going to do my eyeliner now with L'Oreal's, L'Oreal's, Lancome's uh, Black Coffee. And I'm just going to go one third of the way. Not doing anything fancy. I'm just kind of thickening the look of the lashes on this outer corner. And I want this inner corner to stay with nothing on it. Because I want that, that uh, mint to show through. Now, let me put on... This is Max Plush Lash in Brownette. And I have already curled. I already had some on, but some came off when I was taking the eye off again. And I did tight and waterline, which I guess I could put a little bit more back down hither. As the day wears on, mine on my waterline usually wears off. Um, then what I did was I put on my foundation. I used L'Oreal True Match W1 Porcelain. Then I used Hard Candy Glow All the, Glow All the Way. I keep calling it Glow All the Day. And I put it on with a foundation brush. Just put it in here. And then I set it with my matte bronzer. You can use Blunt from MAC. Whatever you use to contour with is fine. I didn't feel that it needed a pink cheek. Pink and green remind me of watermelon, so I didn't want to do that. Then for the lips, I debated because I didn't want to really want to over... I mean, I wanted the mint to be the color on the face. So I used Plumping Serum from Hard Candy and it's called Jellyfish and it does plump your lips and I exfoliated my lips before I put this on and it slapped my mouth. <laughs> it gave me a wallop but I don't mind that sting feel. But yeah, this is the look. Easy, easy as pie. Very pretty, very stunning look. I went to uh, my mama's job today and, and some of the girls were like, oh, you look so good. I was like, thank you. 
Um, but thank y'all so much for watching. If y'all like, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any requests, send them my way. And y'all have a beautiful, blessed day.